those will be some almond cookies so we've got the butter just a pinch of salt the butter is at the room temperature so softening is just a matter of mixing for like half a minute now i'm going to add the icing sugar the very slow speed also to prevent the dust you can cover okay and i'm going to add my eggs egg yolks in fact just the egg yolks and some vanilla sugar just leave it a bit for another three or four minutes. Okay, and after three or four minutes, then I can oops, add the, um, the almond flour, incorporate. I'm also going to add a little bit of flavor of um, almonds and then I will add the flour. And then just mix to incorporate. The mixture then will be put in some plastic bags, labeled, and they will go in a freezer. Every time when you want to bake some, take the bag from the freezer, move it to the fridge, and leave it for three hours or so, maybe less, and uh, then shape and bake. Just going to get the bag and again just pick some of the paste, the paste, the, um, the dough, and place it in a freezer. We'll just keep some to bake and see how they turn up like. We'll just make some little cookies. And ideally it would be to put some almonds right on the top, but I don't have almonds, so I'm going to put some hazelnuts. They're actually caramelized hazelnuts. So um, they will look and taste great. Just pieces of small bits of dough. Those will get attached to the cookie dough without any addition because they've got uh, that sugar coat. The sugar will melt and uh, we'll just stack it down, stack it down the hazelnut onto the cookie. We'll go in the oven 160 degrees for 10 minutes. Cookies are now out of the oven. They look a little bit browny but they are still quite light in color. They are super soft and should be maneuvered with care. If you want to store them in boxes, that's absolutely fine. They will be fine to eat up to three months. 
as long as they are stored away from uh, humidity and obviously dust. They are super nice to enjoy with a cup of coffee. Enjoy!